Hello, today we are going to discuss linear search example program in Python. Consider this example. We have a list and it has the following elements and their corresponding index number. Linear search is a method of searching where you start at the beginning of a list and check it item by item. If we're going to do this in Python, we will have the list, then I will be using X to represent the element I am looking for in the list. So in this list, I'm looking for the number 32. Then I would start my statement. If search in the list and the number I am looking for, which is represented by 32, and if it's there, I would print found, else print not here. All right, now we're going to try to run this program. Let's see if it would run. Uh-oh, there's something wrong. There is an error. The error says name search is not defined. Therefore, we have to go back to our program and we need to define search because Python cannot understand what is this search about. So in order to do that, so I'm going to uh, define my search and then it has to pass through my list plus it has to pass through the uh, variable or to the x, the one that I'm looking for and then end it with a colon and then you remember that in the list we start with the beginning which is 15 then move to the 88 then move to the 77 17 and so on until we find the value that we're looking for which is 32. now if you notice that this is a repeat process so therefore we can say that this is a loop um i will be using the while loop for this um uh for this um uh, for this practical so since i'm going to make use of my a while loop i need to use a counter so i'm gonna make use of i'm gonna write it as i is equals to zero um though you can write any letter but uh we commonly we usually use i for our uh, counter okay so here in this program i'm gonna use i is equals to zero so it means that it will start with zero uh position all right so from there um i can now start with my if or while statement so while uh i is uh, less than the length okay and the length we are referring to is the list all right then we can start with our if so if list and then the value of oops the value of our i yes uh is, or is equal to the x or to the one that we're looking for, our variable. Okay, so we have to, uh, it has to give us the information or it has to give us an output that we found it. So therefore, here we're going to write return. So it will return the value of, yes, I found the x, therefore return value true. Whereas if we're not able to find the x that we're looking for it will return as the value of return false okay i also added my increment statement here so that it will not only stay in the 15 but it will move on the next element to the next element until it may find our variable or maybe not in the list so from there let's see how this uh, program will run uh, i already save it and then make sure 
that you also align do the alignment it should be in alignment with your if statements otherwise it will be an error run module okay so it gives me the value of found at now it's still lack what i want my program to be because i want to uh, want my program to give me the exact uh, location in the list of the variable that i'm looking for so with that that we need to create another variable to tell us that we uh, we are able to locate the position of the x or the variable number that we are looking for in our list so with that as what i've said earlier i'm going to create another variable and this time i'm going to name it as y or you can also name it as position you can also write here position you can also be but for me i would write it as y all right y is equals to uh okay so since i'm going to begin before 15 and we all know that 15 is zero so i need to go before zero and that will be negative one if you remember the number line that i explained in class so that is the rationale behind it so with that i have here my declaration y uh, not declaration but it would start with negative one then i also have to okay i already wrote here my y should be equal to i already then it means that it will return the value of true and therefore it will give me um the uh the position where my x can be found okay so with this let's see if it works control s now when i run this notice that it gives me the value of negative one why because um y becomes the local value python identifies it as a local value local value means we declared it understood that it's negative one and we it does not give us the value of its index value so therefore this is the part where we have to declare it as a global value so uh, in return it can tell us uh, to to I, it can give us to identify the position of the variable in the list so how should we do that so from here we, we just have to identify y as a globals so align it in here so we have we will write here globals so this is the syntax for globals you're going to globals uh, variable if you're going to declare it then um this here okay careful with the spaces and alignment as well all right okay so from there let me see position so let's see if this program will work of course we have to save it Control s and let's run the program so we are going our program needs to tell us where is 32 in the list the index uh, number where it is there in the list so let's run all right so is it correct is it found in six so zero one two three four five six so we are correct found at six now let's change another value so let us say we want to find 67 instead again we do control s and then we run this program again okay now it's found at three is it correct found in three yes because it's this is zero one two three now what if uh, we write a number there that is not found in the index or, or in the list control s let's see okay not here all right so basically that will be your practical one i have explained to you and i hope that you will upload your work in the um, folders that you have created so uh, good luck and I will be checking your work by tomorrow.